Millie, I'm going to turn it over to you. Thank you, Starry. Um, uh, good afternoon. Uh, Meredith uh, Coleman McGee uh, will be presenting uh, business development entrepreneurship. And she's an author um, uh, on fiction, nonfiction, poetry for adults and children. And she's the owner of the Mer Meredith, uh, et cetera, public publishing company, uh, owner, op operator, of typing solutions, resumes, and et cetera, uh, uh, consultant, uh, Southern Echo, organizer, community library, Mississippi, uh, Jackson uh, Book uh, Festival, former staff, uh, Mississippi Association of Cooperatives, and Voice of Calvary Ministries. Oh my goodness, Meredith. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Millie. And uh, our call was. What happened? <laughs> I wanted to say that uh, I really have uh, felt empowered by this. Um, all of the presenters. Shirley gave us information on home preparation. And, you know, I have. A uh, water store up under my bed, and Anita. I've been to her community in New Mexico, and I was very uh, uh, touched that she has a. Her family has a nonprofit charity, and maybe we could contribute to that since they're doing for the whole community. And I can't wait to go and eat at the table in Southwest Georgia. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, okay. uh, I'm uh, Meredith Coleman McGee. And uh, I've been in business most of my life. I started my first business um, when I was 23, right after college. I started a candy store in my mother's living room on her bar. And then mm -hmm. um, with candy and, and all of that. And, um, and I had um, a little space in her freezer for Nutty Buddies and ice cream sandwiches. And uh, I was able to really compete with the other person that had uh, a candy store one block away. And um, at the college, I had two part-time jobs as a paralegal because they wasn't hiring a lot of black paralegals in Mississippi then, but I had two part-time jobs. And amazingly, I was making $300 a month off of my candy store business. So. My uncles, I even the, the most important thing about the candy store business was I actually kept records of my expenses. I wrote down all of my expenses and then my income, and I was able to find out weekly and monthly how much profit I was making. And since I made a uh, good profit, two of my uncles helped me start a real convenience store business when I was 24 which I had that business for uh, four years. And, and then uh, I went into the nonprofit world for eight years from uh, 1994 to 2002, where I worked for the Mississippi Association of Cooperatives uh, as a business developer with uh, farm co-ops. Uh, I did the newsletter and then I worked for um, Forster Cavalry ministry, I did a newsletter there. And then I worked with uh, Southern Echo doing redistricting, uh, organizing around the district, teaching community how to do redistricting manually. Then we started learning how to do it on the uh, computer. And it, when I was in a nonprofit world, eight years, I got laid out twice. First time <laughs> after buying a new home with my fiance who I married. And then uh, a late husband. And then I get laid off after buying a new car. And I had three years left on the car. So I told my husband in 2003 that I I wanted to start a business. So I just, I started a, a type of resume and writing service in 2003. I was 40. And then 10 years later, in this office, and that's one of my old computers behind me. <laughs> and uh, I started small and uh, grew them 
that's that's my um, home office through my customer base, and I've been doing that 20 years. And 10 years after that, when I was 50, I reinvented myself and became an author and a book publisher. And in 10 years, um, I have produced 21 authors in this home office, and we have produced 35 books. And I had to, um, um, and I was inspired by the fact that a lot of people who are very, very big started small. Walt Disney started in a barn. Um, Jeff Bozo, who started Amazon, started in his garage. And <laughs> Subway Sandwiches started in the in his home kitchen. So you don't have to, um, you, you can start small and grow a customer base, but the main thing is uh, keeping records, uh, good customer service, and being able to turn a dollar over, making the profit. So uh, some of the things that I'm, I'm going to talk about is business development, entrepreneurship, building a brand, market, marketing, and then a, a summary. Okay, I want to just start with a definition. Business development includes activities and ideals that spur business, implementing strategic partnerships, using markets, building the company's reputation. An entrepreneur is a person who assumes the risk alone of operating and managing a business enterprise because all business is risk. Uh, business partners, markets, reputations. Okay, so in my line of work, a good partner is an independent bookstore owner because I want to go to this bookstore and sell books, have a book signing. And I want to encourage them to let some of the authors in the company come to their bookstore and sell books. And book festivals, uh, which we I, I uh, help organize two each year. And then, of course, teachers are are very good partners because teachers buy books and sometimes have students to buy books. Then um, in terms of uh, my resume service, I get still get a lot of business online because I've had a, a website for quite a while. And um, Dave Sing Singleton gave me a lot of the ideas for going online when I first went online. So I'm a former... Uh, board member and his daughter is also on the call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then you have a uh, quality and uh, a good price. For instance, if, if we're at a book festival and one person has a book that's um, really higher than the other books around them, they're going to sell probably less than the people with a better price for a similar uh, type of book. So price and quantity, and then sometimes people are just going to buy what, what they want because that's the product that they, they want. But price has a lot to do with selling as well. Uh, business opportunities are like planes. Create new ones Alton. And I, you know, I think about that. Um, um, if I go to Wendy's, sometimes they have a, a new product or a seasonal product. Now they have a fish sandwich, which they don't have very often. Uh, and sometimes uh, uh, Chick fil A has the uh, peppermint shake, which I really love, but it's only uh, seasonal. All of these things are things to draw people to the business to buy. So, uh, uh, something new and to keep people uh, interested in the business. 
and for our line of work, we have there's a new book. We do a book release party with the cake and the punch and um, uh, the fanfare and, and all of that. Okay, next slide. Okay, so um, in this slide here, I, I wanted to just engage the audience a little bit. I'm going to talk about a product launch or a book launch. Of course, I just mentioned that when you're launching a book, just like a, a music artist, when they launch a new CD, they're going to have a music launch or party. To, to bring all their friends and family together to hear a sample of the music. Um, and you would also um, go on TV or radio to announce this launch of, the, of a product or service. So I wanted to ask the audience if you could just name some examples of a product or a business launch maybe that you've done yourself. Can anybody name uh, a launch that you've done? You're making us think. <laughs> <laughs> Meredith, great. would an art reception go into that category? Yes, it will. Yes. Definitely yeah. done that. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Okay. Okay, so you could thank you for that, Maria. <laughs> okay, uh, so you can go to the next slide, Star. Thank you. Try. Okay, then I was going to do a little talk about competition and price, and I'm going to focus more on the side. Instead still talking about books, I'm going to talk about. Pound cakes. My neighbor makes pound cakes from her house. And a pound cake from scratch tastes so much better than any cake you could buy at a grocery store anywhere. <laughs> but anyway, so she gets orders all the time and she actually makes a pretty good income from just making pound cakes from scratch. And she um uh, and um there are other people who make cakes for Christmas and holidays for scratch that they sell in my local market as well. And the prices range from forty dollars per cake to seventy five dollars per cake. And here's an example where I don't know if price really matters because if somebody can make a a, a German chocolate cake from scratch, um, you know, some people will be willing to pay $75 for it <laughs> as to, uh, compared to a, compared to a pound cake. And uh, uh, in terms of my uh, resumes, uh, some people charge $150 for an entry-level resume, which is someone who is entering the market. They only have maybe four or five jobs in, uh, straight out of trade school or junior college or a college. So I charge $65 for someone entering the market. And some people charge uh, more. And, you know, but I'm a professional writer. I've been doing resumes 20 years. And other people are, are professionals too. So it just depends on um, what people want to pay. Uh, for quality. The next slide, please. And this is just the uh, 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 an example of product presentation. And um, when I buy a, a cake from my um, neighbor, she usually uses the box to put it in. That's presentation. It looks professional and good. And some people use the uh, plaster container, but I have to tell you, I have bought a German chocolate cake. And it was wrapped in foil, and and, and it, but it was so good and so moist 
that, uh, and I know the the uh, baker that you know presentation didn't matter to me, but if you don't know the person, I think presentation is very very highly important. Okay, the next slide. So the summary for this presentation, business strategies, partnerships, networking opportunities, and reputation will carry the business owner a long way. And reputation includes being timely, being a person of your word, being dependable, uh, being honest, and uh, the product must be above average, reliable, price correctly. And the product presentation, of course, is very good. I mean, very important. And um, if it has something to do with taste, it must be good. If it has to do with a book, it must be a well-written, good book that will entertain the reader. And then I have here some resources, SBA's business zone. I have to tell you, I think that SBA's business zone is absolutely one of the best resources for anyone trying to start a business. They actually even have um, presentations on uh, uh, doing virtual business, going online, the business plan, market, pricing, location of business. It's so thorough and it's free. That's one of the greatest things I think that the, the government actually does for people is give them courses that they could take to, before they start a business. Then you have SBA Women on Economic Disadvantage programs. And then you have uh, the development programs for to help small and disadvantages uh, businesses. Next slide. And oh, wow. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Um, that's my email, Meredith C. McGee at gmail.com. My resume service is type of solutions. Dot these. I also do uh, business plans for um, new businesses or existing businesses and uh, book proposals and general typing. And then MeredithEcetera.com is the small press where we have the 35 book titles. And uh, I hope that you could shop and support uh, uh, the company and the 21 offers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank wow. you. Thank you, Board of Ed. I mean, there's a lot of support for this, um, but I want to see it you know, last decades. I don't want to see it last five